Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to English with Lingua Trip, and today we're gonna learn a few words and expressions that have to do with your office. Home office edition, my messy home office edition. So if you're ready to learn some new stuff, let's get to it, I guess. Faster than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive. Look, up in the sky, it's a bird! It's a train! Let's go. Usually when I do all my work, I use my desktop computer. Uh, a desktop computer is just a bigger sort of computer that is not very mobile. So it's just a computer that kind of lives on your desk. I also do have a laptop. A laptop is a computer like this. It's more portable. It's a laptop computer. And I do have an adjustable height desk. So it could be a standing desk or it could be just a regular desk that you sit at. Sometimes, even in this day and age of technology going crazy, we need to um, use some old school tools, I guess, to do some work. Uh, you already know this is a pen, obviously. You already know what a pencil is, right? So uh, there's a couple of markers. So we have dry erase markers. You know, you can pretty much do whatever on like a whiteboard and you can just erase it with you know, a paper towel. Now, there is a type of marker that you have to be careful with, and we call that a Sharpie. And you cannot erase those, so be very careful and read them. Please read them when you use them. Uh, we got scissors, and this thing right here is called a ruler. Oh, what else, what else? Oh yeah, so uh, this is an office chair, but it, it looks more like a gaming chair, but it, it, it also has a massaging function, so it's like a massage chair. Yeah, I confused myself too. Now, some honorable mentions that I didn't show, but people could have in their offices or home offices. They could have a whiteboard, an iPad. I have one, I just didn't show it to you for some reason. Well, speaking of decor, people could have different shelves, different dressers, perhaps, some extra furniture like a couch or like a sofa, a coffee table, depending on the size of your office. Some people like to display their achievements uh, or degrees on the wall in frames. So think of a picture frame, but you can frame anything else like a degree or like a certificate, anything. And of course, the nature of my job is not very regular, I guess. So one of the main tools that I use for my work is a camera, but you already knew that, you know, this word and microphone, you also know that. Uh, this camera has a lens, you already know that, so let, let's move on. Right here next to me, you see my ring light, and this thing right here, uh, we call that a headset. Of course, just like any normal person, I have a sword here, uh, specifically a katana, and uh, different musical instruments like a MIDI keyboard, Electric guitar, acoustic guitar. I'm also very big on different decor things. So um, first of all, I have an artificial plant or a fake plant because I don't really have time to take care of a real one. Uh, this is a piano, so it's a, it's not just decor. It's it's a real piano. I actually use it. Uh, a skateboard. And um, well, these are called Funko Pops, but I don't think you really care about them. Uh, they're like collectible figures and uh, different achievements, milestones, whatever you wanna call it. And I don't know if you need to know this word twice uh, in one video, but this is a microphone. Would you like to get a little more comfortable in the English that people in the corporate world speak? Learn how to present stuff, communicate effectively and efficiently, put together a nice resume. If that sounds good to you, oh boy, do I have a treat for you. We put all of that and some more in one comprehensive course. We have amazing knowledgeable people there. For example, like a recruiter for Amazon, a career specialist in Europe and the US. Me, <laughs> Marina and Anastasia. Our Christmas sale is finally here, 30% off every single course. Link in description. I also have some artwork here. Yeah, we just call this stuff artwork. This is more specifically a canvas, but whatever. I also have some lights right here and you can just uh, flip the switch. Yep. I also have a TV here that I barely use to be honest, but yeah, TV. We have a very specific term for this. 
uh, in the, well, I guess music industry. And we call these monitors, studio monitors to be specific, but you can just call them speakers. Uh, I have an oil diffuser here. I have three candles. I have a lighter for these candles. And I guess this is it. Doesn't feel like it, but I think I think we're done here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this has been yet another episode on English with Lingua Trip, and I'm very happy to host you here. I'm Benya Pack, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Peace.